Hello everyone and welcome back to So Sick Airways. And today we're going to have a little bit of an, a uh, slice of history. We're in the Spitfire. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. So Spitfire is, of course, needs no introduction. It is by far the, well, I would say, probably the greatest aircraft that was ever created. It is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that. I think there isn't, an, there isn't any man, or woman maybe, perhaps, but most likely men on the planet, who haven't gripped their hands around a model aircraft around here, and on this side here, and thrown one of these when they had it as a toy and wanted it to fly because I mean look at it it's such it just it's just so well designed it's absolutely stunning and here's the thing I'm gonna fly it I'm gonna fly it down past the cliffs of Dover because you know why the hell not so inside the cockpit everything's modelled You've got literally all the gauges, all the original gauges are here. You can um, change this up and get it replaced with a um, with a sat nav if you wanted to do a bit more sort of like you know proper flying with it, uh, well, modern modern day flying with it. We're not going to do that. We're going to stick with the steam gauges and we're going to have a good old time. Um, I'm going to try my best to take it off. It's um, an incredibly well well modelled aircraft to the point where taking it off and landing is apparently extremely difficult. Um, I've been trying it for well the last uh, I'd say probably two hours before I started recording this video to try and get it to take off correctly and it was tough. I gotta admit it was pretty tough. So we're gonna give it our best shot see how we get on. Now if you're like me one of the main things that you love about the Spitfire is the sound it makes. So let's fire this bad boy up shall we? Let's just get our electronics on. Make sure that's all there. Head tracking. Could probably be a bit closer there, couldn't we? Um, let's see that there. There we go. Okay. Let's just... just see that smoke. That was pretty cool. Okay, that might be a bit too loud. Let me just um, turn this down slightly. Make sure you can still hear me. But hopefully you should still be able to hear me okay. I'll turn myself a bit louder. There we go. Hopefully those levels are just about right. So I want you to hear the engine because the engine is incredible. And this is an outside view of it. That's going to sound a lot louder than uh, what it was. There you go. It's a bit louder. Oh, look at that fire. Whoa. Oh, cool. The Merlin 3 is kicking off. Okay, let's get this window closed. Not wanting to close for some reason. Why is that? We gotta lock this. There we go. Okay, we're locked inside. Sweet. Right. So if I remember correctly, you're not allowed to give this too much revs. If you get too much revs, it literally will take off and slam itself into the ground. So you gotta be really easy on the throttle. I've got my propeller on full blast, I've got that on full blast. Let's have a look outside a second, where my flaps at? Okay, that's landing flaps. Don't think there are any takeoff flaps. Okay. Let's just have a little look at our checklist a second. I don't want to mess this up. Okay, so don't engine start. Take off. From advance to plus six, plus twelve max. Lift off 100, 120 miles hour. Okay, how's our trim looking? Okay, 
go. Rudder trim, let's just move that a bit more that way. There we go. Okay, let's give this let's give this a shot. So parking brake is off. A little bit of throttle. A bit more. Listen to that. It's a spitfire, alright. What's the BBA? Oh shit, shit, shit. Whoa, 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 ah, flipping egg. Ah, shit. So it looks like we just crashed. This is where it gets really interesting because the Spitfire is incredibly difficult to take off. So let's try that again. Okay, here we go. This is go where it's going to count. Right. We're going it. We're going for it. Parking brake is off. Counting out for the fact that it wants to go round to the left. Okay, we're not getting the hang of this, are we? Oh, we're up, we're up, we're up. Come on. Let's try it from outside. Maybe I need my flaps down or something, perhaps. Okay, so we're back in the sim now and we're at a completely different airport because this one has a concrete runway. So hopefully, it's quite far this runway, we should be able to take off. So let's uh, give it some wally and see what we got. So let's just have a look outside. Flaps are now down. Parking brake is off. Let's give ourselves a bit of throttle. Let's just start rolling. A bit more throttle. go. It's a bit of extra throttle there. A bit more throttle. A bit more throttle. Pull back on the stick. And we're up. We're up. We're up. We're up. Flaps up. Gear up. Throttle on. All right. Take off! Look at that! Oh my god, what a plane! 
But it's something else. Okay, let's go flying. And the Spitfire. Alright. Listen to that engine, it's so throaty. It's just throaty, cool engine. Let's back down the throttle a little bit, back down the patella a little bit. That was a nice takeoff, man. Really, really nice. As you can see, there's all the clay down there in the sand. That's what we'd like to see, because we're going to see the white cliffs of Doom. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so taking the bird up that time around was relatively straightforward. It was just a case of, you know, gradually applying the power, steadying the, um, the rudders, and making sure that you're not kicking the arse out of it. Which um, I'm guessing is probably quite easy to do when you're in the sim. Now, the Spitfire is renowned for having really bad visibility from the cockpit, so it's not the best visibility, but I'm sure you'll agree. You can't beat an iconic flight in a Spitfire. No, sorry. Okay, so where's our airspeed? Airspeed's there. I love the details on the glass, look at that. It's fantastic. Oh, this is pretty fucking awesome, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. The flight mechanics are incredible. You feel totally in control of this plane. <coughs> There's some pretty decent speed here. And I remember it was a fast aeroplane. First day it was bloody quick. I mean, look at this. Absolutely going for it. Totally, totally going for it. There's some white cliffs. So I just had to take a couple of screenshots there because, I mean, come on. Why well, win you, right? So yeah, this airplane is something else entirely. Yeah, it's so cool. So, so cool. What a great plane this is. Oh my goodness. Flying it is an absolute joy. There they are. There's the bad boys.
Yeah, look at that. This is absolutely something else entirely, like this experience, flying this plane. It's unlike any experience I've ever had in the sim before. It truly is. go. Here they are. Wow, look at that. They did a great job looking after them, didn't they? Not so much on this side. This side doesn't look as good. No, that's a shame, they've like, literally done one bit and that's it. Hmm. That's annoying. Oh well, should we uh, head over to Germany and go fuck up their ship? We should. Let's do this. Okay, let's, let's start a bit of a climb. Okay, we're going to go into a climb. We need to set this here which is our pressure tank otherwise our engine will cut off at 10,000 feet that's on, good ok we're going into the cloud cover here ok we did a bit of dead reckoning all the way to um, all the way to Berlin yeah, let's do it let's absolutely do it For nearly a hundred years. Close to it. Getting very close to it. Well, 1930s, now what, 1924? <laughs> 1924. It's 2024. How am I about? I'm not sure what my altitude is here, but I think we're okay. Okay, let's go do a loop, shall we? Let's do a little loop. Ready? Here we go. Here comes the loop. So we go down into a dive. And we'll pull ourselves straight back up. Woo! Oh, we're blacking out. Blacking out. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> cool. It looks like the sea is really close to us, but it's not, is it? It's like. It's far. How deceptive. Oh no, oh no, there it is. <laughs> oh, damn, it was because the gr the bloody ground is so far away. The sea looked like the sky, and now we crashed. Oh well, never mind. 
Well, I guess we've got to wait for, uh, well, another 75 years until the Coast Guard comes and picks us up. Uh, or we'll just sink to the bottom of the English Channel, along with the other, sip other Spitfires. Oh well. Hey-ho. It was a uh, nice flying while it lasted, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.